this Mass is offered for the intention of the Legion of Mary and for the soul of Sister Rosalind of the Legion of Mary once again in thanksgiving on Nishan's birthday offered by his family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with Mighty brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Your response would be, for we have sinned against you, and the second one, and grant us your salvation. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, the offspring of David, as priest in my gospel, for which I am suffering, bound with the chains as a criminal. But the word of God is not bound. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they may obtain the salvation that is in Jesus Christ with eternal glory. The saying is trustworthy, for if we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Remind them of these things and charge them before God not to quarrel about words which does no good, but only ruins the hearers. A worker who has no need to be ashamed rightly handling the word of truth. The word of the Lord. Our response, O Lord, make me know your ways. O Lord, make me know your ways. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me for you are the God of my salvation. Response, O Lord, make me know your ways. Good and upright is the Lord. He shows the way to sinners. He guides the humble in the right judgment. To the humble, he teaches his ways. Response, O Lord, make me know your ways. All the Lord's paths are mercy and faithfulness. For those who keep his covenant and commands, the Lord's secret is for those who fear him. To them, he reveals his covenant. Response, O Lord, make me know your ways. Kindly rise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Our Savior Christ Jesus, 
abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 12 verses from 28 to 34 at that time one of the scribes came up and asked Jesus which commandment is the most important of all Jesus answered the most important is Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And the scribe said to him, you are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one and there is no other besides him and to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength and to love one's neighbor as oneself is much more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, remember at the pa at the um, last part of the Easter tide we have been meditating upon uh, Paul's teaching on certain matters of importance these days we are hearing his words <clears throat> he has written to Timothy from this reading first reading we get something very important how he felt his closeness to Christ Although he found himself bound to the chains, he understood he was a criminal in the sight of men, but in the sight of God, he was innocent. And he said, though I am bound to the chains, I am not bound to the word, because the word is free. Men may chain me, but God has let me be free in order to free you so that you will have life enduring that's one thought second he says if we have died with him we will also live with him very interesting it is said if you want to walk fast walk alone and if you want to walk far you walk with that means with people or with friends so also Paul in order to walk far towards Christ Jesus he found the companionship of Jesus with him and therefore he felt that to walk with him to live with him and to die with him is to get life eternal that's why that's what he said if we have died with him we will also live with him it's a very beautiful teaching if we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, it is said, he also will deny us. But if we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. This is the second uh, uh, teaching of today's reading. It is so nice that Paul is admonishing us to walk with Jesus, to live with Jesus, and to die with Jesus so that we will have life with Jesus. And the third one is, he says, 
Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved. Do your best. Don't look for extraordinary things in this life. Do your best. What is that you can? You know, he says, do your best to present yourself to God. A worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Therefore, Paul, with these uh, three uh, tips for us today, is telling us Jesus Christ should be the closest one for everything of our life. And the gospel is something very interesting. Pharisees asked Jesus question. Sadducees uh, wanted to trap him. And the third category is that scribes. Scribes are law interpreters. There were or there are in the scripture, in the Old Testament, particularly in the Torah, 613 prescriptions, including 10 commandments. All those prescriptions were given for um, human harmonious life happy life happy coexistence if one follows those 613 laws or prescriptions would be closer to god or would get life eternal that is what believed by the jews so they took pride in the laws they took pride in the torah the scripture old testament that's why keeping these in mind a, a scribe, a writer, or an interpreter, Jewish interpreter, scripture interpreter, wanted to trap Jesus to find whether he knew things or not. Because Jesus is found as a rabbi, and therefore this scribe wanted to test him whether he was a man of knowledge of the Torah. So he says, which is the greatest commandment, uh, Master? Jesus was very clever enough to quote what is written in the book of Leviticus. He says, there is one God. That means, he says, hear Israel. This is a um, uh, kind of uh, ordering word. Listen, listen, vocative. Vocative means it's uh, insisting. It is called Shema in um, Hebrew. Shema. Shema means Listen, O Israel. This particular commandment, the Jews would uh, write it in a small stripe, okay, writing material, and they would uh, tie it on their uh, wrist, or they would uh, tie it on their uh, forehead, in order that they know this commandment uh, deeply and thoroughly. So this is a, an important commandment that um, Jesus quotes. What is there? Hear, O Israel, God is one, there is no other God. So what you should do, people of Israel, love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your spirit, with all your body. This is the first commandment, the greatest commandment, and equal to this, there is no second commandment, equal to this. How do I put it? Simple analogy. Husband and wife. Can we say who is the greatest or who is the greater than these two? If you ask a child whom you love more, depending on uh, the child's favor from either or, the child cleverly, smartly, earthly says, I love mama more than dad. Because daddy may be hitting or uh, shouting. Or if the mummy is a nurturing and a torturing lady, the child may support father. I love dad more than mother. But if there is a child brought up in balance, the child would say, I love both equally. Same way, same way. Which is a greater commandment or which is the greatest? Nothing like that. Both are similar in its... Uh, uh, <clears throat> intensity and its meaning. So Jesus says, the second is this, which is equal to that of the first. Okay? Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And the man accepted uh, Jesus' response and he approved what Jesus said 
Master, you said correctly. Whereas for this, Jesus gives a small tribute, a small appreciation, saying, Amen, you are not far away from the kingdom of God, I say, because you know the truth, you know the knowledge, and you have the knowledge. So you are not far away from the kingdom of God. In conclusion, my brothers and sisters, what is important? Love of God, love of neighbor. It is like um, two highs of a same person or two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. Both are important, both have a similar utility. So also love of God goes with love of neighbor. If one says, I love God, I love God, and if he hates his neighbor is a liar, says St. John in his epistle, first epistle or first letter. So look at that. We love God. We love puja. We love rituals. We participate in the rituals. We participate in the celebrations. But on the other hand, our love for our fellow human beings is far lesser than what we give importance to all these externals. That's why Jesus, uh, that's why St. Uh, Saint James, uh, St. John says, you love God, you say that I love God, but you hate your neighbor, you're a liar. You're a liar. People write to me in WhatsApp, Father, we are missing Mass. Life looks so dull. But if you go analyze those individuals, whether they have got, uh, whether they have got uh, um, apt uh, rights and uh, respect and regard and love for their own people. Find out. If you analyze, 90% would be definitely in utter failure because they will hate people. They don't want others. They want to be independent. They want to be uh, selfish. They want to have their own dominion. They want to have their own glory to be acclaimed and proclaimed. And they will, not give any, they will not give an inch to their neighbors. They will not respect their people. But they will claim that uh, I love God, I love God, I love God. This is utter um, double standard. So therefore, what Jesus would say, you love God, you love Jesus, you love Holy Mass, equally you love your brothers and sisters. Some time ago, I came across a couple, boy and a girl, who were in love with each other for so many years, and they got married, <coughs> despite of um, little uh, resistance from both the families. They got married. They lived for some years. But during that uh, period of living together, both came to know each other's weakness, and they began to hate each other. And today, they are divided, and they are looking out for some sort of a separation or uh, annulment from the church. Both are Catholics. So look at this. Like this, there are so many uh, couples leading a life of double standard, irony, ironical, uh, ironical. One side they will claim for mass, one side they will offer mass, one side they will go with the rituals and celebrations. On the other hand, they will hate their own blood relatives. They will hate their uh, um, spouses. They will not forgive. They will not understand. They will not uh, patch up. They were earlier, they were trying to look up to catch up. They caught up each other. And they have some problem, and they solved it. They got matched up. Now problems came in, and they don't want match, and they don't want patch up. Huh? Catch up, match up, and patch up. Nothing happens of this kind in our life, very, very unfortunately. So my brothers and sisters, we should not be only to the externals. We should not be only to the externals. Find out, you write down in a small slip of paper, how many percentage you love God, God I mean whom you worship, okay? How many percentage you love your uh, spouse, your brothers and sisters, or your neighbors or whoever? If you pass the first one, you should pass also in the second one. If you fail in the second one, that means you are equally failed in the first one as well. 
vertical horizontal if you write uh, um on a on our notebook right angle one up and uh, down horizontal vertical then you have that angle this angle is joined with the two lines so also vertical love towards god is as important as love towards neighbor horizontal love or horizontal love is as equal as what we pay adoration or worship to god let's pray father in heaven thank you for wonderful teachings that you have set before us through your servants paul apostles and so on and your own son jesus christ also has placed us today greatest commandments which are so essential and equal to one another love god and love of neighbor strengthen us with this wisdom always so that we may have a life of joy here on earth amen name the father son and the holy spirit amen dein Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. This will become our spiritual bread of life. Is that power? And by the mystery, the mystery of water and wine, may we come to share the beauty of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the wine and the work of human hands. It will become a spiritual tree. Blessed be God for it. Lord God, we ask you to raise with our humble and contrite hearts. Lord, what shall we make with you? Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and for the glory of his name. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is due to you, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <coughs> It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty eternal god for in goodness you created man and when he was justly condemned in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty may our voices we pray join with theirs in a humble praise as we acclaim holy You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave to his disciples, say, "Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body." which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was entered he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me
the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O Lord until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, St. Paul, St. Peter, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be co in our life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, so we have the courage to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Hamas Yonas. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Hamas Yonas. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us, so receive it. Lord Jesus, may the receiving of your body and blood not bring me to judgment and condemnation. But through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my throat. But when you say the word, my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ in your everlasting blood. Psalms to your name, O Most High. 
Psalm 9, verse 2. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go, the Mass is ended.